Star Trek Lower Decks Review, Season 4, Episode 10. And I find it funny that the end of this episode, they basically... Well, because we talked last week, Maydark probably got the the Tom Paris joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that they actually mentioned it. Yeah. I don't but... see it. He he's he's the spitting image of Tom Paris. No, oh, I, I I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> like I love that they're just like, see, same guy, yeah. same guy. <laughs> well, and the fact that at the end, it basically they kind of, the whole thing is a big metaphor for for Paris. Basically, the only way they could have made it more obvious is if they called it Paris or something or Tom, yeah. Planet Tom. It's like we blew up Locarno. Reused his materials in a in a planet, <laughs> in a much bigger planet. It's it's essentially Tom Paris. They basically it's like yes, we took Lucarno, blew him up, <laughs> put him back together inside into something much bigger and much more important. Oh my God! What if it becomes a living planet? Oh God! <laughs> oh. And oh, that was the main thing I wanted to get first. The other thing was kind of interesting finding out, like getting an actual timeline for Mariner. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. That means because we got like she she also went... the um what's her name Sita Sito yeah 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 the Nova Squad and they got Witten back for it. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, um, it makes sense, but. He's... Oh yeah, I'm sure he would. He was glad to come back and do it. It's like, yeah, um, of course. He was in. He was also in Picard. No, I, I haven't watched Picard. Um, but uh, what's what was interesting to me was now we don't know exactly when Boimler, like we, like what age he was when he joined the Academy. Or Tindy or Rutherford, we don't know anything about Tindy or Rutherford. We do know, we do know Boimler uh, was commissioned in seventy nine, and she was commissioned in seventy two, which we know the dates of the Dominion War. There were preludes to it going on about that time, but it officially starts in seventy three and lasts till seventy five. It's a two year thing, so. Yeah, she when she says she was very fresh out of the academy, like it was like she was commissioned the next year. Like, there was already crap going on, and then the next year the Minions War starts in earnest. Mm -hmm. Seventy three to seventy five, um, and uh, see what was it? Uh, but. The biggest thing out of getting that timeline is it kind of gives you, like, I'm going to assume based on Boimler's personality that he wanted to be promoted as much as possible, and he's not he's not the self-sabotaging type, so I'm going to, you know, we don't know exactly what age he joined the Academy, but given that sort of way he is, I'm going to assume he's as as young as he can be. Because, like, he's he's actually competent and isn't self sabotaging, so like he's gonna rise to the ranks as fast as he can. So, like, it could be that he and we know he didn't he didn't he wasn't part. Of, well, you know when he was commissioned, but we don't know. Yeah, you know, but uh, but it's puts a max kind of one of the distances it could be is he could be seven years younger than mariner she... well the actor was born in 92 and considering that they actually played like and the actor uh, and um the actress who plays Mariner was born in 83. So there's about a nine-year difference between them. Yeah. So 
yeah, it, it really didn't <clears throat> dawn on me how much of a gap there was. So, but you know, like seven <laughs> year, seven year gap between them, um, and then you end up with. Now we know in Tindy, there's an eight year gap because she's one year. She came out the year after because we saw her come on board. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything about Rutherford. He could, he's probably, he probably graduated with uh, Poimler. And they may have, they may have constructed the Cerritos crew out of that, that graduating class and just threw Boimler and Rutherford right in. And that might have been how they got their start. Um, but he could be, a, he could be a year or two older than, than, than Boimler, but I don't think he ever dealt with, uh, Dominion War. We don't ever hear about that, so... He was probably after seventy five, but two seventy nine, like there. So seventy six to seventy nine. So it can't be more than a few years older than than Boimler. And based on how he <laughs> how he is, they're probably contemporaries. If they're not the same year, they're probably within one year of each other. Uh, I I tried looking it up, and IMDb does not have his date at his year of birth it just says that he was born on the 18th of july <laughs> it doesn't say like his age mm. but yeah oh i was looking at memory alpha earlier to see what they've got and boimler's only listed ages well he was at least born after uh, before 56 and i think they're just getting that off of the way he was commissioned and when he would have started like they, they, they may. There may be something I'm forgetting, but they say he was at least born before '56, and that's that's basically working off of that. Um, now he could be a couple years older, and that that gap could be smaller. He could have joined the academy at like 20, but again, he's got the same problem as Rutherford. He was never in the Dominion War, so he can't he can't have grad. He, well, well, no, he could he could have been a civilian during the Dominion War, and that would have been fine. But, because we know a hard date for his, um, his commissioning. So, uh, yeah. But I thought that was an interesting thing to sort of work out just how bad it was. It was like, nope, like, commissioned this year, the next year the Dominion War starts, and there's already preludes to it already happening her first year on the job. It's like, ah, yeah. That's pretty rough. And one thing I, guess, I good. I guess though, I am impressed that he got a lot of alien races that pretty much hate each other to work pretty well with each other. Yeah. But at the same time it was more, hey, if you hang out with me, you could do whatever the fuck you want. And mm -hmm. you, you you don't have to take orders from anybody. Except me. Yeah, well, it's very Animal Farm. <laughs> it's very, yeah. Yeah, the pigs have put on trousers. But yeah, it's yeah, it's very much that sort of style of. Come with me. We'll treat. We'll be a group of equals. You're you're pissed off at your boss, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you're gonna be a a, a grouping of equals in Nova Squad. And it's like, uh huh, sure. How's that gonna it's work? Squad. No it's Nova. Or whatever. Yeah. Whatever it was, Nova, something or other. But yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. It's like this is not gonna work because you kind of need a hierarchy at some point, and your whole way of of your whole way of getting these people in is no hierarchy, and you're gonna somehow organize this thing without having any hierarchy you're you, what you're going to need to do the things you need to do is not you know it's not going to agree with your you know the reason they left in the first place okay i just gotta say honestly i saw it coming right but when it happened i just slashed my ass off they put a paywall 
what a bomb! Yes, <laughs> it's so Ferengi. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I'm coming. Surprised it wasn't it's... higher. I know. Oh, Here, have a paywall strips? to not die. Only two strips. Damn. Yeah, they slipping. Yeah, you, you, your, their lives are on the line. You could just ask for whatever the hell you want. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say though, um, now I don't know if like every alien race can make one, but if Frankie are like the only ones that can, they are scarier than I thought with that Genesis bomb. It yeah. actually was a Federation design originally. This is a knockoff. Okay. Yeah, okay. they they just um, souped it up. I mean, for a knockoff, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. It's just... Also, that that's really... Because the Genesis arc didn't actually, like... Not arc, that's a Doctor Who episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, it, Don't cross it, the streams. It, <laughs> no. That's Ghostbusters. <laughs> Only at the year I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, the the Genesis device you had to. It was a terraformer. It had to have a planet. If I remember. Okay, so that yeah. did throw me off because it was activated in the middle of space, not on the planet. I mean, yet. it sucked in all the matter around it. Yeah, true. But to be fair, it's been a long time since I've seen um, seen that movie. But if I remember correctly, it required the planet because it absorbed the matter from the planet and converted it into organic life and stuff. Yeah, like, okay, yeah what, the, what? the Genesis device, I think, did have to have... It, it was a launched planet. at a planet. Yeah. You, it's one of the reasons... And you don't want... You don't want to... You usually don't want to launch it at an already existing Habited planet. planet. Yeah, yeah, because it'll destroy <laughs> everything. And then yeah, you respawn it, it with a bunch of new life. Yeah, so I guess because they were in like a nebula, a nebulous system, like it absorbed all the matter around it to create the planet. But I thought it had to have at least the, you know, rock as a central focus. I guess yeah. the planet is this. I mean, I guess the ship is the center of the planet now. <laughs> I, I mean, or did the poor dude that died? Mm. That must have been painful or fast or quick. Who knows? It did kind of remind me of that a a e movie after Earth. Mm. Yeah. And somebody actually used the freaking captain's yacht. <sighs> yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Voyager. We have an aero shuttle. Are we going to use it? No. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and 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 T and G, they also had the captain's job, but I don't think they ever used it on there either. Nope. <laughs> it, it's 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 in the skim it's in the schematics. It's there. You can have you can you know, it can it's technically there and if they wanted to do it, it would be well within their canon to do it, but they never launched it. Uh. <laughs> I gotta say though, it was so cute seeing Blade. Like, I'm the captain now. Yes. yes, I like my captain. Uh, did you like my captain voice? <laughs> also, I I love the fact that she uh, uh she's uh, she decides to be stay because she's gonna be science besties with Tindy uh, Tendi, and then Tendi has to leave. Like, sorry. Yeah. Like, well, it looks like I'm leaving too. Calls back, hey, uh, about that. Well, see, that was <laughs> no, the thing. I think, no, because I think she's gotten attached to the entire group, not just Tendi. 
Yeah, and it's the, just tech is the most excitable. The other side of that was also that I think one of the things that I was thinking about was like obviously you have what Tendy's doing, but I was thinking when he called and he said we had to talk about your tenant since they didn't specify Tendy, like if when we start the next season, assuming it gets another season, I I think it's supposed to. It is. It's yeah. already on TV. Okay. Assuming that you know, everything goes through and nothing weird happens, uh, like he he was vague and they never finished the conversation, which we're led to assume it was Tendy, but what if he was talking about Beckett Mariner? Yeah, and it's like no, we I need think... to we need to promote her again, which no. will play right into her right into what she's developing right now. Yeah, because she just pulled off something like that's that's some. That's some A grade stuff out there. Like she completely dismantled, like, like got the Genesis device, stole it, got away from from them. You know, and and did her best to, you know, affect a good solution. And you know. That's some grade A stuff. That's exactly what you want your 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 Starfleet officers to do. Like constantly trying to get in. At the end, she was just trying to get him to stop, and like he wouldn't. And just like, okay. <laughs> well, he's like, well, not at the end. Okay, but like then she's like, oh, she got teleported. She didn't have a choice. And this like, well, but this guy's crazy. His ideas are stupid. <laughs> Yeah, that was. It was some good action, and it was about what you expect. Yeah. And getting, getting Captain Boimler for a time was fun. I I liked I, the uh, I liked how strategic she was with the. Um, I challenge you to a battle, and he would have won if he took two steps back. Yeah. Because <laughs> he made her sneeze to. <laughs> yeah, usually the thing that they do with that is they reward the cunning and just have, you know, have them win like that. But like, oh yeah, no, I'm going to. Your your expectations are I'm he's going to win. Like, yeah. oh, we figured out the weakness. There's a weakness. There's a strategy here. Oh, he performed the weakness, but he loses anyway, and that's you know. And and hey. Isn't there supposed to be at least a countdown? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know what, what, what that is about. But yeah, next time just move move to the, the side. Yeah, what the rules are on that, but yeah, it's <laughs> but uh... oh, what was I gonna say? Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I mean, this was mostly taking everything we've kind of. It ties it all well together. Yeah, this was this was. You're as you're going through the episode, you're kind of going, "Oh, that was this season. Oh, that was this season. Oh, that was this season," and just like, "Oh, we're we're pl we we planted seeds the entire season of things that are coming." Like I think, even the. Uh, the captain's yacht that was planted either this season or last, relatively recently. Yeah. They, they actually got to see the inside of that. So I think that it was, was this season. Yeah. So that was planted. You got a little bit of that. You got a little bit of this. You know, each of these things. You know, we got Tindy's. You know, actually got to see. You know, Tindy's family. We got to see that. And so, like that was planted this year, and that got brought in on the end. You know, we have the running thing of the uh, of the ships disappearing and then you know so each so everything that sort of was this entire season including Mariner's sort of arc on stopping her self sabotage yeah started yeah. that that kind of between that last episode and this episode that's kind of coming to a full circle, and and I I honestly I'm if they did come back and and show the rest of that conversation they were talking about Mariner, 
like that would be very much in character for, that would it would be following what she's doing like i don't think they would send her off but they might go give her a special promotion she's got the experience for it and she stops self sabotaging like <laughs> make her a full lieutenant <laughs> Like it wouldn't change it wouldn't change a tremendous amount, but it would make her the highest ranking. But it makes sense. She's also the most senior of the group. So, like you know. But I don't know. Um uh, Oh. When all else fails, ram a ship through it. Yes. And again, with the, um, the, the that holodeck program that apparently solves all problems, <laughs> only when we're twaining. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, it's like, how does this work? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. I love the it at the end. Though. It's like <laughs> it's like I think we're getting along only when we're twaining. <laughs> yes. They've used <sighs> the noun, a proper noun this time. It was, it was a good culmination of the series. Yeah, the season, so. season this time. It was a good bringing I, that together with leaving just a little bit, you know, uh, you know, a few threads out for next year. Yeah, it was a good like. It, it was a good kind of one of those. Season finales, if they don't know, uh, if they don't know if there's a next season, yeah, you know, like it ties yeah. it together well enough and like gives you this nice sense of closure that if there wasn't another season, you wouldn't be like, oh my god, what did they do? Yeah, yeah. But the only the, 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 the only the only bad thing that happened at the end was Tindy left. That was the only yeah. bad thing, and that's not even that bad because she can just come back, like. Exactly. Even if they left it yeah. at that, it's like, well, okay, she she spent some time over there and then negotiated her way back over to Starfleet at some point, and you can head canon that into your, you know, yeah. what you read of the season. Now, but, one thing I want to make a note of, I can't remember the name of it, the Trinor or whatever that shield was called. Yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um. Honestly. That shield was like pretty kick ass. Like even after ramming a ship through it, like a few seconds later, it repaired itself again. Yeah. They should put that shield on all the ships because no offense, the shield on ships suck. Few hits and it's down. Well, don't know. I don't think we know what the requirements are for it. The energy That's requirements true. might be so because, ridiculous. Because don't forget, it was a trinary system. It's like. Trinary? What the heck's a tri? Oh, tri-binary. Is tri-binary even a thing? Like, that's why it's called trinary. <laughs> because, you know, binary is two, trinary is three. But... So maybe they needed the three stars in order to power it. Yeah, probably, kind of yeah. like the Kind of like the Eye of Harmony is a uh, harnessed black hole created from one of these suns and the a sun trying to turn into a black hole or something and then yeah and it's they're just, just they froze it yeah. just at that possibility and they just yeah okay then just uh just uh with some really powerful tractor beams just drag three stars to hide you at all time <laughs> kidding uh like I, I could see Tindy coming back, unless it's one of those things where they had the character leave because the actor left, which has happened before. But I don't know. Yeah, I haven't heard anything, but I haven't been listening to too closely either. So I don't know yeah. if she wants to go or not. But like, I'm thinking that's going to be the that's that's going to be part of the arc of the next season is. Her yeah, doing enough I, that she gets I, to come back. <laughs> I feel like she's going to be away for a bit, 
just so that she could come in and save the day at the end or something. Yeah. One of those kind of things. Yeah, or, you know, the first, you know, it's going to be the first couple episodes, or it was like, uh, like well, it's going to be like when they sent Boimler off. He was gone for a little bit, but he came right back pretty quickly. True. So, I, I got a feeling, you know, the kind of the status quo is God, so... We're going yeah. to bring we're going to bring her back relatively soon, but she's going to have a little story arc at the beginning of the next season, and she's going to have that, and maybe we'll have Mariner have a little story arc as well. You know, if she gets a, they're like, yeah, we're going to make you a lieutenant. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with that? <laughs> uh, yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of the same way with uh, Rutherford, where it's like, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Wait, everybody else is? Can I have that promotion you've been promising for me for the past two years? Sure. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and then just... He might, you know, thinking about that, he might be... Rutherford might, might be a year senior to Boimler. Like, that wouldn't be that weird. That would be pretty normal, I think, if Rutherford was had been in, in Starfleet a year more than Boimler. But that's not, just going off on a tangent. But yeah, I think we'll probably we'll, we'll Tindy will get an arc. Uh, Rutherford will probably get some like it's probably be an opportunity to give Rutherford. Well, he got, he got some good character development this se this season, but like to get him some even more this is what I do now thing while he's trying to find what he does without you know away from Tendi because they like to put those two together to do things. It generally it generally breaks off into Mariner and Boimler doing something and Rutherford and Tendi doing something. Generally, they mixed and matched a little bit this season, but. Generally, they split those two off to do something and those two off to do something because they those those two work well as funny things to do. But uh, yeah, there's hoping they bring it back another season. They, so, they so, probably, according to IMDb, it's already like greenlit. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have a date yet, but obviously. <laughs> yeah, and I imagine it, as long as we were as late as we are to producing this review, like it's probably closer than we think. <laughs> um, not like it's like oh, it's going to be next week, but you know, it's not going to be two years. <laughs> it you know it might not even be a year. I don't know how long these things take. And if they were already in pre-production for the next season, while this one was finishing up, probably they might even be in, in deep in scripting or done by now, and yeah, sending it out to be animated and record, getting recordings, getting animation, getting CGI done, starting to work on that stuff, getting all that shipped out so that it can all be cut and edited and animated and everything done for the next season nice but okay well if we're if we're uh, let me, let that, me you think they put a paywall in a bomb okay I'm done <laughs> okay well we'll maybe we'll see them later this year maybe we'll see them next year but yep. that's it for Lord X for a while and...